Well, th this is a story about the hall, and it sort of kind of sums up <laughs> the kind of, I guess, you know, the, the big-heartedness uh, and the soft-heartedness, I guess, in my way, and the stunnedness, maybe, too, of, of, of all of us in those early days of the hall. But it was like, uh, you know, it, things were fairly loose, and there wasn't a big sense of governance or whatever, and the board of directors, although we were elected, and, you know, it was very clear, uh, that we you know, were elected by the, the members of the organization. Um, but like, uh, for example, uh, uh, we had a guy who uh, worked uh, uh, at the park one summer watching our equipment where we're doing an outdoor show. And uh, he, then he started to hang around the hall and he was very, very street smart, downtown type guy. <laughs> like I say, way smarter than us. Um, and uh, he eventually talked himself into being allowed to live at the hall. <laughs> so he actually kind of had kind of an apartment in the, in the attic. There was an attic at the hall then. And uh, so, you know, nobody minded pretty much. And then eventually, you know, after about six months or so, he eventually had a big party, you know, all his friends. And uh, one of the board of directors came by and they, I mean, he was actually in the middle of a fist fight with one of his guests. And so the board had a meeting and said, okay, we gotta get rid of this guy. And anyway, so he left. And, but then one night, the, the chairman of the board of directors, a very, very kind-hearted man, uh, named uh, Gordon Ingalls. Uh, they used to say about Gordon that he, there was a story that he actually caught a mouse once and then drove the mouse to the country and let it go. He was a very kind-hearted guy and uh, it was raining out and Gordon was going by the hall and there was this fellow standing there and um, uh, I'll, I'll call him Bobby because I won't say his real name. Anyway, so he was there. So of course it was raining and, and so Gordon gave him the key and said yes, go ahead and stay at the hall. And then he kind of settled in there for a while again. And then one week uh, after we had a big week and we had lots of money, and in those days we stored the money in the safe. Uh, one morning we got a call saying that the safe had been broken into, um, you know, smashed up basically, uh, and that all the money was taken. And well, you know, was there money there? We said yes. We took the amount. And then the police said, "Who do you think may have done this?" And I said, "Well, I, I got to say, you know, I, I, if I were you, I'd ask Bobby." And so they went to him, and uh, he was such a—he was a very kind-hearted guy, I guess, in many ways. It's a break back he broke in. But anyway, uh, so um, uh, the police asked him. Uh, they only said the police said he only said one thing to him. He said, "He said, boy, he said, I hope you didn't, uh, hope you didn't steal that money from the hall." He said, "Those people were so good to you." And then he burst into tears, and he confessed. And he told them that he'd thrown all the checks over the wall in a bag, all the checks were there. All the, the change he put in bags, in paper bags, put it under his bed at the Welcome Hotel, which is right next door, right next door to the hall, burned down since then. And, uh, and he'd taken the cash and gone down and bought a round for everybody at Dynamite Dunn's, uh, the, the Ringside Tavern. And he bought a $200 station wagon, which one of the board members actually bought back from him. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, and we were all, you know, feeling very bad about Bobby. And then eventually, of course, he went to, to court and I think he got a year for it, but then he got off for three months or whatever. And so when, when he was finished, anyway, after three months, of course, the hall gets a call from, I guess, the John Howard Society saying they had a young man who was, had been in jail, was being released, and could we take him and give him a job at the hall? And people thought for a second they might, but then they thought, no, even for the hall, this is too much. <laughs>